Some paid with their lives, but all paid a price as 13 years of combat deployments to Afghanistan officially ended this morning at MCAS Miramar. It was a solemn and symbolic end for the 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing. 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence shows why for many it will never be over. The last big homecoming for 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing was in November, but actually the final three Marines just returned home last Friday. Sir, colors are present. The banner carried into war for 13 years by the 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing forward is taken out of service. 13 years of combat missions, 13 years of working in the grit and sand and the sacrifices made. Families had seen their loved ones wearing this cloth go off and in some instances not come home. In 2012, Sergeant Brad Atwell on the left and Lieutenant Colonel Chris Rabel were killed when insurgents attacked Camp Bastion. Two other 3rd Maw Marines died when their CH-53 went down in 2002. We're mindful this morning of those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. And mindful that for many who attended the ceremony... It never feels like it's over. We're always training for the next thing. Staff Sergeant Timothy Canella, who deployed twice. As if to emphasize that point, jets were in constant flight during the ceremony, with most who attended it not even in the Marine Corps when the war started. Uh, 13 years ago, I was uh, six. <laughs> but um, en ending it was, uh, was uh, very memorable. He, in fact, just got back after turning over assets to the Afghans. In his closing remarks, the commanding general said this. Afghanistan is a better country today because of our involvement and our sacrifice. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. Mm.